Hey everybody, this is Nick Clare with Electric Bike Action Magazine, assistant editor to Tony Donaldson, who gave me a call last night and said, hey, we need to do a video on manuals. So I said, oh, okay, we have a couple things we can point out, a couple common mistakes that we see people making. Um, the process that's gonna take you to being able to actually get a manual down. And for years, I, this is something I struggled on and I essentially gave up on it at a certain point. And then I saw some people doing it and one day it just kind of clicked for me. I tried it again and it just kind of clicked for me. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the key things, two or three key points and things I don't always hear mentioned about manuals and how to do them better. So let's get into the video. Okay, first thing is getting the front wheel up. And this is, it's something we, we see people trying to do and it can be easy to do, but it's, it's very easy to get up the front end, but it's easy to go too far backwards or not go enough. So body movement and the body technique is, is something that I've heard referred to as, people refer to it as an L shape. So instead of just pulling back or pulling up and throwing all your weight back, you wanna, you wanna bring your body down and backwards and almost think of it as two separate movements, going down and then pulling backwards. And that's gonna help you get the front end up in a comfortable position and not get it up too fast or not go down far enough. And it's gonna take some time to, to play with it and feel that balance point, feel that tipping point. And that's something that's gonna take some work and effort but this body movement and technique is gonna be the key to success. The second biggest point is, after you're up, what do you do? So the thing is, you wanna get back, do the down and back movement, and then a lot of people, a lot of people consider, you know, might even think of this technique as like a show-off technique or, you're, or as a trick, but keep in mind, this is, this is another sort of thing that that actually is you're working another part of your brain on the balance and this is gonna if you do work on this and you get it down you're gonna be surprised what it what it brings to you on the trail just trail riding in general so the more so if you can get it down it's gonna help and, and a couple things um, the braking obviously you want to minimize braking because braking is what slows you down and, and takes away your momentum but when you're first learning you're gonna want to be able to use that rear brake so to save yourself from going over backwards. So feathering the rear brake, and we'll talk about this and show you um, bringing it up and then how to use the brake to bring you down for safety. But not only that, feathering that brake and working on that brake is going to bring another level to your trail riding. Being able to apply the brakes rather than just locking them up or, or skidding the rear brake, this is gonna bring another skill to the, you know, your trail riding. So, We'll talk about that and work on that in this second tip. Okay, the third and final most important thing that we see is when you are up there, oftentimes, when you first, especially when you first start off, you'll find yourself, uh, assuming there's no wind, um, as we're gonna be dealing with today a little bit, assuming there's no wind, you're gonna, you're gonna start veering this way or veering that way or getting too far back and tipping to one side or the other. And so one thing I've found and I don't hear a lot of people mentioning it is your eyes, your vision, looking farther down the road. And when I say road, obviously mountain bikes, you're on dirt a lot, but as dangerous as it sounds, and this is a dangerous thing to learn in general, we, we know that riding mountain bikes, but I feel that riding on the on a tar road like this is actually gives you it's actually more consistent and you have more traction so i think i think it's actually a little bit safer to practice on so that's what we're going to show and and teach you on um, but looking ahead farther down the road anytime you usually where you look is where you go so looking farther ahead is going to be the biggest key in keeping it straight and and uh, you'll be able to keep going down that trail straighter. And you'll find the farther you look, it, it's gonna be hard to coordinate that because you're thinking about the brake, you're thinking about your body position, you're, and you're trying to look far down the trail. Give it time and it's all gonna click for you eventually. Just keep working on it. A lot of people use manual boxes and uh, oftentimes what I see with those is that they don't, 
they don't necessarily translate into real life maneuvering. So it's, if it works for you, go for it. And if, it, if that's what it takes to get you comfortable just pulling back, by all means do it. But just getting out there and pulling back and using this fundamental techniques properly are gonna be the keys to success. So um, hope you liked the video. If you liked it, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, and hit like and subscribe, comment, make questions down below if you have any, and we'll try and do another one if anyone has any other suggestions. All right, take care, guys. Follow us at electricbikeaction.com or on social media as Electric Bike Action so that you can be up to date on the latest bikes, technology, and e-bike news. Also, give us a like and check out these other videos on your screen and hit the subscribe button for more great videos.